Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand address resolution protocol. In short, it is called as ARP. And this concept is very important to understand because so far we have seen the dots. What is a network layer and uh, the different dots in the network layer and also the, the different dots in the data link layer we have seen. But we haven't seen the combination. Uh, we haven't understood the concepts in combination of data link layer and network layer. How they both will communicate each other so that the communication can be done if Efficiently. So we haven't seen such kind of concepts in this video. We will try to understand uh, We'll try to take a real-world example and we'll try to understand how the things will happen in reality and uh, uh, So far uh, uh, We'll try to understand in very practical way by using this example and these are all the uh, layers that we have It is application layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer in the network layer as we are in the section of network layer in the network layer we have different so far we have seen different protocols like IP so internet protocol and also we have seen RIP and OSPF uh, these are all the routing protocols that we have covered in our previous videos and uh, we have clearly understood about the IP also so we have covered lots of videos on IP these are all the protocols of uh, network layer and apart from this the network layer also has different other protocols like ARP the address resolution protocol is one of the protocol of ARP and the next one is RARP so about RARP we will try to understand in our next video and we also have ICMP internet control message protocol so these are all the different protocols that we have in the network layer okay so now now what is the job of address resolution protocol it is going to resolve the addresses if we have an uh, IP address we are going to get the MAC address so what is the use of uh, doing so we'll try to understand by using this example in this internetwork internetwork i am please try to understand the terminology so this is uh, uh, these are all the routers uh, which are getting interconnected by using these routers we are going to communicate with different networks these are all the different networks this uh, this uh, interconnection of the routers is what we call it as internet get that word interconnection of these routers is what we call it as internet okay and uh, network we are going to communicate with other networks so with this interconnection of the routers we are going to communicate with systems in the other network that is what we call it as internet internetworking communication in this example for example if you take this system called x and this x wants to communicate with the system uh, y how the communication will happen so we'll try to understand step by step so whenever the x is ready to transmit the data it will get the data from the uh, uh, actual data from the application layer and to this application layer it will add the transport layer header and to this the network layer header will get added we have covered it uh, uh, so many times and this network layer in this within this network layer we are going to uh, network layer header we have a very two important fields which is uh, x ip address it is the source ip address and it is y ip address y is the destination ip address and to this we are going to add the data link layer header and also the data link layer tail and within this data link layer we have very two important points it is MAC address of uh, the node, uh, the MAC address of X, and also has it also has the MAC address of A. It need the MAC MAC address of A. It need the MAC address of A. Okay. So in the data link layer, so we are going to get the differentiation. So the data link layer, we have discussed it. The data link layer is node to node communication, node to node for the communication between X and Y different nodes are there within this communication different nodes are acting so the communication between node to node is what we call it is data link layer so the data link layer this is the ethernet that we have the underlying network that we have it only comes under data link layer it means that this network does not know about ip addresses this network only know about mac addresses 
okay but we have the ip address of x and we have the ip address of y but we we have the mac address of x because the max is mac is communicating because x is communicating we know the mac address mac address means it is nic card address network interface card address okay so this mac address and we have to get the mac address of a because the next node to which we are going to communicate is a for the communication between x and y the first node to node communication is from x to a we have to get the mac address of a how that address we are going to get that is where the address resolution protocol will come into action the ip is going to request the arp to get the address of a so how it is going to get it is going to compare x and y are they in the both uh, bo are these both systems x is source and y is destination right are they both in the same network no they are not in the same network so in the network in the in the x system we have the default router ip address if you closely observe you go to your network settings in our computer you will get the default router ip address there is an option there the default router ip address will be there so with the default ip address default ip address because both of them are not in the same network means it has to defaultly uh, go to a, a default system which is a this network is connected to a so by default it has to go to a now what the address resolution protocol will do is it will send a packet i have an ip address xi xi and i want to get the ip address of a uh, ai ip address of a so this packet will be transferred by the this is the uh, arp request packet and uh, uh, i have the ip address of a and i also have the ip address of uh, x and a I, I have the mac address of x i have the mac address of x and i want the mac address of a this is the request that is transferred by x to a okay so the packet will get this this arp request packet will be transferred so it want this ip address the ip address of uh, the, sorry mac address it wants the mac address of a so it will request for i i, I want the ip uh, mac address of uh, a so uh, as as the request packet is received address resolution packet request packet is received at a it is going to send the mac in response it is going to send the mac address of a mac address of a now this mac address of a will be stored here uh, in the data link layer header data link layer here we are here in the ip and ip had requested for arp now the arp has done its job and it got the mac address of a after getting the mac address of a it will get stored in the data link layer uh, uh, header here the mac address of a will get stored and the communication will happen means this entire payload will get transfer transfer transmitted into this a okay one step is done next what happens now the a will this is where the network layer come into action this is where the network layer protocols will come into action so what we are having here within this router we are having the routing table now using the routing table what it is going to do is it is going to get the source ip address and destination ip address so as the routing table will have the details of all the as we have seen the routing table a b c d and it is going to have the uh, distances uh, from a from a to a it is 0 a to b it is 7 a to c the shortest path is uh, 6 and a to d uh, a to d it is 4 so this is how the and the next hop is a uh, from a to b the next hop is d a to c the next hop is d and a to d the next hop is d so this is how the routing table will be there at a by using this routing table in order to transmit to b it has to transmit it to d it has to transmit it to d so this is this is the interface through which the packet has to be transmitted again the arp will come into action so this part is what we call it as data link layer part only the network layer will be there in this router again so here 
the packet uh, the packet will get transmitted uh, from here this interface to this interface and here again the routing table will come into action so the dis routing table using the dis routing table it will understand that it has to communicate with c so this packet will transmit here see the shortest path 4 to 1 in order to transmit to b we have different ways it is from a to b directly it is 12 a to c and c to b it is 9 plus 1 10 4 to c 1 which is 7 so this is the shortest path so now from here it will get transmitted to here and from here again it will get transmitted to here now we have reached the destination router see here the ip address of y is matching with one of its interface is matching with one of its internet interface we are going to get it from subnet mask you you please recap those concepts okay so now it understands that the packet that i have received is uh, uh, the destination node is uh, connected to my router so it will send it will again request the arp packet it will again request the arp packet because it does not know the mac address of y it does not know the mac address of y so what it will send it will send the arp request now in what way it will send it will send that i have the ip address of uh, i have i have an ip address y's ip address i want to get the mac address of uh, y i want to get the mac address of y so this is the request packet that is sent by the arp and it is broadcasted it is broadcasted in the sense this request packet will be received with each and every router so uh, is it the ip address is it your ip address are you why no are you why no are you why no are you why yes if you are why if you are why so here the uh, address resolution address uh, 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 address resolution request request message is broadcast if you are why what is your mac address so it knows the mac address right in the response it will send the mac address of y i am sending the mac address this is my mac address go and get it so it will send the mac address in unicast directly to to this router b now using the mac address it will construct the frame it will construct the frame and here it is going to use mac address of b is the source uh, uh, source in the sense this is this is what it is transmitting and the, it is going to fill the mac address of y so with this mac addresses the packet will get transmitted the packet will get so this entire payload will stay in the router until it gets the mac address of y after getting the mac address to this to this part to this part the data link layer header and the data link layer tail will get added because this is where the this is this part is what we call it as the data link layer node to node communication okay we have discussed clearly about node to node communication in the end of the data link layer section okay so now now uh, the communication is done successfully okay so this is how this is how the address resolution protocol will help us in communicating in in getting the mac addresses if you have an ip address it will get converted into we are going to get the corresponding mac address every system will have two addresses one is ip address the other one is uh, mac address mac address is uh, the nic card address ip address is the logical address this is the physical address we as the network layer does not know about the mac addresses see here network layer do we have the mac addresses in the network layer no the mac addresses are there in the data link layer okay in order to get the mac address of the destination once the mac address is con uh, confirmed then on the, then only the packet will get transmitted to the corresponding system okay so this is how uh, the communication will happen in real time okay? hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching